Welcome back, all you kings, queens, and in-betweens to another special Should You Watch episode, and that is a Does It Hold Up? Because we are flashing back to the 90s, the best decade to ever exist. Yeah, it's when I grew up, it's when I got to experience all the cool stuff that made me who I am. And this is one of the anime that I remember from when I was watching it on Toonami, and I made Elaine watch it, and that anime is Outlaw Star. Elaine, do you want to just give us a little rundown of this show? Gene! What are you doing, Gene? We got bills to pay, Gene! Space. The final frontier. Guns. Grappling guns on ships. Death, destruction, explosion. Ah. That actually is a pretty good summary because you pretty much just have Gene getting yelled at by people, people yelling at Gene. Then you have spaceships. You have outlaws, which are basically just like bounty hunters or cowboys in cowboy bebop you have ships that have arms that can shoot guns it's like my ship has a gun my ship has a shield well my shield bounces back your bullets all that kind of weird stuff it's just like sword fighting gunships you have a cat chick you have an old school samurai and you have a naked chick that pilots spaceships that's the rundown Now, jamming all that stuff together, did you enjoy this show? I will say that this show was very nostalgic for me. And it's not because I've actually seen it before. It's because it reminded me of a classic boys Saturday morning cartoon from the 90s. It had that vibe very strongly. I mean, it was from the 90s, so that kind of makes sense. Don't make fun of me in the comments, but you know, whatever. It had a lot of guns. It had a lot of fighting and explosions and a storyline that basically made no sense. And they dropped threads and then kind of try to pick them up again later. But it was very lazily done, shall we say. And I would turn to Jeremy and I'd be like, she does remember she's supposed to be trying to kill this guy, right? That's a thing she remembers she should be doing. And you were just like, "Ah, I don't know, Ah, maybe. And I was like, all right, well, boys cartoon. You're like, yeah, it's great, isn't it? And I'm like, no, actually it is terrible and boring and the animation leaves much to be desired and I don't think it's just because it looks very dated I think it was interesting that you'd watch one episode and it looked one way and the next episode the character's face would look slightly different and then two episodes later it looks slightly different again and then it go back to the original and then do the cycle again and I was like what what's happening I mean it was an animation of its time because you think about if it was released in the late 90s it was in production from the mid 90s so so animation wasn't the best in most scenarios back then like we didn't start getting really fluid animation probably until after 2000 but the peak of like prior to 2000 animation was probably like things like cowboy bebop like trigon but even those had their weak moments with i think cowboy bebop had a lot less weak moments but this certainly had weaker moments than a lot of the other ones of the era it was it looked like it was very hastily put together at times well it wasn't just the fluidity that i have an issue with it's the consistency of the elements within the frames yes yeah, like I'm the saying. character is looking very different yeah it's it was very hastily done it looks like and there was a lot of explosions they were trying to keep your attention with the explosions i did find it amusing that there was a major plot thing that was tied to essentially a hot springs episode that the plot couldn't have happened the way that it happened if you didn't have that hot springs episode which was interesting i don't remember that just being in the middle of like the climactic arc at the end from when i watched it the first time there was a lot of lulls throughout the series where it was several episodes where it's like i don't think we really need this episode and looking back on it i remember this show more as a collection of a handful of episodes and i remember it as a collective experience like i remember the introductions of the characters i remember like the first couple of episodes i remember them meeting asia i remember them meeting suzuka suzuka Yes, I couldn't come up with her name there for a second. I remember the episode with Jim meeting the girl and who had the cats. Like I had a vivid memory of that episode. And I remember the end. And I remember the little bits of the parts where they were fighting like the super ninja samurai guys. But besides that, I didn't remember a lot of the stuff in between. And I think as a collection of memories of those moments, I think there were a lot of cool moments, but there was definitely lulls in between. I think this was just a show where they shoved everything a boy could possibly love in it for no reason whatsoever just to entice boys it's like hey boys like spaceships right let's throw those in there pirates yeah they love those too ninjas they love those explosions guns cowboys gotta throw them in there and it just it had 
no substance that tied it together really and i was like there was some it had an interesting blending of technology with magic with spiritualism there was a kind of a cool examination of those things being blended together like i really like the concept of the caster which is a gun that is made by wizards to fire bullets that contain magic spells in them i thought that was a really cool concept the fact that the main bad organization uses tau magic and that's really cool so the mixture of all these things thrown together yes it's like jamming your action figures together as a show where you kind of lose the plot in the middle and you're just slamming things together and you're like hey what would be really cool if we were going to fly a spaceship yeah if a naked chick had to stand in a tank to pilot our spaceship (laughs) like these are the things that as an adolescent boy yes you enjoyed these things but i think there's something worth going back and examining on and watching things like this of the era we'll agree to disagree So you're saying people shouldn't watch this? No, I think it's a mess. And I think if you're going to do the nostalgia thing and revisit the 90s, which were a great time, there are better things to revisit. Yeah, we'll agree to disagree. I think you should go back and watch the trifecta of 1997 anime. And that is Cowboy Bebop, Outlaw Star, and Trigon. It's the year of the space western and the space pirate. You should definitely check out all three of them. And we're going to be bringing you one on Trigon soon. Ha ha, I've locked you in now. No! I won't accept you as my father. I will say that Trigun's probably the second best one after Cowboy Bebop. I definitely think it's better than Ella Star. At least I have that to look forward to. Something you can always look forward to is this should you watch, does it hold up content here on the channel? Like the video if you like it. Comment down below. What is your favorite 90s anime? Let us know. Maybe we'll check it out and see if it holds up. Aline will probably say it doesn't. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of this content going forward and ring that bell so you know what's up. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye guys. (laughs) 